What is that exactly? <laughs> You're cleaning the grill? The whole trunk. Let's hear it. It's Project Detox. Detail the ox. Oh oh, let's move on. Wow. In more ways than one, that was incredible. <laughs> like, if you really think about it. Well, besides this truck that I'm cleaning up, we also have some other fun things. A lot more fun things than cleaning this truck. Don't bigger worry. things, even. <laughs> bigger things in the truck. Literally bigger things. So, if you guys have been watching past videos, you may have seen Mud Life is sitting in the shop. Boom. There she is. And that is for very good reason. A while back, we got it out. We put it in the pond. You probably saw that. We pushed that pipe around. Honestly, had a really great time. Like, it really, I became re enthused with the Mud Life project. So, reached out to the guys at High Lifter, said, hey, there's a couple things we need to straighten out on this. You know, can you help us out with these few little parts? And they said, listen, what you need to do is totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go down that path any further. Turns out, the parts we used way back when, although really cool, were kind of like pre-production level stuff and a lot of fine tuning and a lot of improvements have been made since then. So we're just completely rebuilding Mud Life with all brand new stuff that is just way better, way stronger. Way bigger. Way bigger. <laughs> so She's gonna be a monster. You've seen this pile. <laughs> yes. This is the pile of stuff. So huge shout out to the guys at High Lifter. And they hooked up with us really early on the build of this thing. It came stock. We did all this stuff. It was a super fun time. Now it's time to be even more fun. Yeah, so we're getting, I mean, right from scratch, tearing all that old stuff off. We've got brand new arms that are adjustable and way stronger than the ones we got. We've got brand new six inch portals to replace the four inch ones we have. The new six inch portals are a new design that are much, much stronger than the ones we had before. They've got more gear reduction that we've, that we've had before. We've got connecting links that are gonna link the lower A arms to the chassis to toughen everything up. So when you're bashing in stuff with these giant tires, you're not overstressing frame points. We've got a great big bumper to go on the front of it with a 10,000 pound winch. Oh, that's it? Oh my gosh, yeah, we've got like serious stuff. So this is gonna allow us to, you know, one, make it much tougher and more dependable, but also more capable. It's gonna be taller. We're gonna be able to, you know, really take care of all the little issues we had before, like, you know, the alignment, we never really got the camber right. So just taking care of all of it, it's gonna be very good. I think we gotta open something up here. I wanna see one of them portals. That's all, all right. I know. I don't know what's what in this pile, so. So this is Mud Life Ranger. That's how you know it's good. And we got sticks too, so. Heck yeah, let's look at what's in here. This is a rear frame plate and har. Okay. I'm not sure what a har is, but we got it. Huge A reinforcer. <laughs> got it. Not playing around here. Holy smokes, look at this stuff. Okay, so templates, we got templates. Oh, oh, that must be the, uh, oh, that's an upper air <laughs> for the rear. Oh, this is a frame support. Okay, what? I forgot about that. We're getting frame supports for the saw. It's a nice piece. Really toughen it up. Hell yeah, look how thick that is. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. I mean, we're gonna have to take some time and really go through this whole pile and understand exactly what we have here. I like that. So just looking from the outside, we got all sorts of stuff. I don't, are those axles? Those are adjustable link bars. I, I bet you those are portals. Are portals. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. I think okay. we just jump right to the chase here and see what them portals look like. All right. Portal time, baby. Oh, yes. There's some beef in these boxes. That'd be nice. Send us some Wagyu. <laughs> Putting mine in that. Oh, baby. Oh, geez. Look how huge that oh, is. Oh, baby. Oh. oh. Look at that. All cast. That is sweet, dude. Holy smokes. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that is a whole different animal from what we've got on there now. Whew. 
Whew. Looks like the men and women over at High Lifter are not playing around. That thing is humongous. What an absolute beast. Let's yeah, see the this backside. Is beautiful. Wow, dude, that's a beautiful casting too. Just super clean. So I assume like before, there's probably a mounting kit that goes along with this. So a bunch of steel brackets that'll allow you to connect to your upper and lower A-arm. So we'll get into all that, but man. Yeah, this thing's gonna go to the next level. This thing's gonna go to the next level. I'm really excited. So I think basically we just start by stripping all the old stuff off. We get it up on jack stands or whatever, strip it all down, and then we'll start going through these boxes, understand what we've really got here, and uh, just start assembling. Probably Hell, do yeah. like frame stiffener stuff first and then get arms on it. And ultimately, I just wanna put this thing back in the pond. I'm into that. Rick didn't go last time. He needs to go this time. Locking in right now, I'm going. Lock it in, dude. Lock it in with Heck Doug yeah, right now. Locked in. <laughs> oh, that was a great lock in. Nick was there too, <laughs> in spirit. A few minutes later. Mud life is up. Doug is down, setting up another pallet full of great parts. Doug, what's going on over here, buddy? Yeah, just starting to tear down, man. Like all this stuff is still uh, usable, so we're just gonna pallet it up, and what are we gonna do with that? I don't know. You know, maybe something in the future, but. Who's to say? Maybe a, uh, another Ranger build, but anyway. Everything's got to come off, so all the upper and lower arms and all the portals that were on there prior are coming off. I think upper and lower, right? Is yeah, that right? upper and lower. We're going right down to the frame, basically. I think we're going to reuse the axles, but we get the bumper off. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at now, man. Just stripping everything down to the frame and starting over. Yeah, I'm into that, man. This is going to be awesome. One day later. Dangy! Oh, where'd my dog? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that wasn't the doggie I was looking for. So last night, Mike Reed came here and basically tore down the entire mud life situation. So this is as far as we had it down last time when we installed all the original high lifter stuff. But now we got some beef, basically unparalleled beef. So yeah, I basically unboxed everything this morning and laid it out to kind of inventory what we have and understand you know, the project as a whole, what needs to go on first and whatnot, and was just blown away by these parts. I expected things that were similar to what we had with a little update, and it turns out things have changed entirely. This stuff is so badass, it's incredible. Like, yeah, this is huge. The arms, look at the diameter on the arms. They're absolutely huge. These things are so beefy. The ends where the ball joints go, just super thick. Like, is that a cast or machined piece on the end too? That thing is huge. It yeah, looks cast I mean, maybe. look at how thick it is, man. It's huge. just, these things are awesome. And all the lowers have threaded adjusters on them. So those camber issues we had before, gone. No more shims, none of that. You just adjust the arms so you can get everything aligned perfectly. And then just going through all the rest of the basically suspension and frame stuff. Let me look at all of these support pieces. So this is a frame brace that ties in all the, uh, the lower A-arm mounts. So basically a gusset just to toughen everything up. And then back here, these plates, that one that's sitting in the center, those two big plates that are sitting towards the back, those bolt to the bottom of the chassis and are the mounts for these link arms. So on all four corners, we'll have these link arms. Wait, wait, wait. four corners? Yeah, front and rear. Oh, dude, we've sweet. Got, we've got link arms that will attach from the frame to the A arms just to take that much more pressure all the frame. So wow. when we inevitably just bash this thing into stuff, we're not gonna have to worry about you know, bending the frame because we've got these giant lift arms and these portals and these huge heavy tires. And I mean, all this stuff is Those are just sweet. incredible. Nice and replaceable Himes on them, dude. Maybe monster trucks. It's Some big dogs on it. Freaking turn it into a... It's like a four link, basically. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, or not, not four link, like I a radius arm. Oh, no, you're probably just the radius rods, but then I'm like, wait, there is no radius Right, like, like right, <laughs> right, exactly. High lifter is going wild. Our issue in the past, and not that it was a major issue, but, you know, it was because we were on a stock frame and, you know, we broke some things. So when we had this thing out, we always kind of, you know, treated it with kid gloves, right? right. We are always a little bit careful about ramming into stuff. We didn't want to break parts, and I think this is going to take it to the point where we can just drive it like we really want to drive it. 
so heck yeah man and obviously we got a ton of more parts over here that we've unboxed since i mean yeah so you you've guys, seen the portals nick you haven't seen these portals yet i saw them earlier they're freaking nuts look they at they are cast well, like, and it looks beautiful. like a whole like it doesn't even look like a portal anymore it just looks like a bolt-on supercharger it looks like something <laughs> you'd see on a truck and i mean yeah. everything is just bigger and badder and cleaner and nicer so i see things over here that look like they belong on like a supercar this was one of the oh my god moments <laughs> when i unboxed these this morning. oh jeez <laughs> that rotor is huge not only is it huge but it's freaking cut awesomely look it at just, that yeah i mean so we're gonna have stopping power like I how big is that i didn't measure it but i mean it's over that's got to be 11 13 inches, 13 inches. you think i'll bet it's at least 12. i don't know but it's huge hold it up next to your head nick Zeus. That's how you know how big so things are. At least 15. Oh, wow. <laughs> you look like a beautiful flower, dude. Head tanks, man. I'm I'm in a... Wow, those tanks. hubs. So Holy here crap. Are the hubs just beautifully machined. And that's steel. Super beefy. I mean, yeah, heat treated, you know, hardened in there. Adding those type of things to steel doesn't, I mean, that takes a lot of machining work. Yeah, I have all this stuff, man. I mean, look at, so these are the new mount plates for oh, the portals. Oh my gosh. So no more multi-piece assembly with shims that bolts together, just one solid mount, just. Those are 13 inches. Those are 13 inches? Are you it's using your iPhone to measure? I don't know that that's actually. It's super like... accurate. I've actually tested it multiple times. 13 inches. <laughs> that's that's huge. huge. That's a big girl. That's like bigger than we have on our cars. And then I haven't actually gotten this out yet, but I took a little peek. This is the, the super bumper? This is the super oh, wow. bumper. Pull that thing out, Nick Zeus. Probably put a second hand on this sucker. Oh, wow, look, look at the super this. bumper. You got it? Yep. Whew. So wow. That is what's going to allow us to put a gigantic winch on this thing. Look at so. this plate right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that plate's huge, it's like quarter inch plate. So beefy, so beefy. So it's gonna get a 10,000 pound winch. So when we stick this thing in some deep mud, like we'll actually be able to get it out without, you know, a bunch of different machines tied to it. So I haven't got the winch out yet, but it's gonna be super awesome as well. You know it's serious when it has just a heavy sticker all over it. Just heavy. <laughs> I do want to say this holds up to a 12,000 pound winch as well. So you can go even bigger, but like we were trying to balance usefulness versus weight yeah i mean a 10k on a side by side it's already a big winch but if we decide we need to go to a 12 we'll just swap it out i mean i can't tell you how excited i am about this thing now so we got a lot of work to do it's a big it's a big project with all this extra stuff but uh we're gonna get it done and get it together rick and leo just got back some fresh hot and ready's I've been cranking away on this thing and uh, it's coming along pretty good. We got the uh, link bars all in and you can see how they attach to the frame. Just very nice. You drill some holes, super heavy duty brackets. So those are all in place. I'm getting ready to do this front gusset and uh, came across some evidence of foul play. So if we can zoom in, uh, it's gonna be a little too dark, but basically this front lower uh, AR mount is bent down and then is cracked in this location so basically just uh why you need to gusset the frame when you put great big lifts and great big tires and portals and all that weight and leverage hanging off a machine so i when i jumped it with the tracks on it yeah this machine has definitely seen some kind of over the top action so you know not to say that the stock frame is bad or too weak to do it but if you're really going to go hard you need some extra stuff so we're gonna get a jack in here maybe a little heat try to bend this thing back up get it flattened out then we'll come in here and re-weld this and uh, just get her all nice and straight before we go in put the gusset stuff in and then uh, should be good to go yikes <laughs> yo the rest I mean, of it looks good though so it's just that one spot no big deal i jumped this thing before on the gauntlet i jumped over that snow pile with the tracks on it yep i she jumped it in glamis she took some hard hits, no, no yeah. doubt. So this is not a real big surprise. Relatively easy fix, so we'll take care of it right now and then uh, keep trucking. Bugatti, Ferrari, Lambo, Polaris Ranger. Mud life, dude. <laughs> so we've made a giant jump here, I think, in the video. Basically, it has been crazy at the shop here. So we are leaving tomorrow morning for a big trip with Cletus and his whole gang 
and just working on prepping everything so we didn't detail the whole installation very closely but basically it is done we got to bleed the brakes it is ready for tires this thing is absolutely wild now like the more i worked with these parts the more impressed i was it is all just so much beefier than what we had before all the high lifter stuff went together so well too for like a total rebuild of the entire suspension plus adding parts the way it went together was very nice but uh yeah man it's locked down portals are on they got oil in them we got our giant brake discs we threw some brass pads on her so hopefully those hold up in the mud better we got our link bars in all adjusted front and rear i mean like i said somebody's got to jump in help me bleed the brakes on this thing and then uh it's time for some tires and to just drop this thing in the pond and make sure she still works I like that, man. So like Doug was saying, all these things are huge upgrades. Everything's more beefy. Like, look at the size of the nut on that. It's hum everything is humongous. Inch and a quarter DOM. I mean, for the arms, just everything is massive. 13 inch brakes, like these tie rods. Look at these tie rods. I mean, we had stock tie rods before. No more of that. All just super bad. Biggest tie rod, biggest winch ever. This is a 10K Smitty built on this humongous what basically looks like an oem bumper but it's just humongous just bigger fatter thicker gives you more space for the winch so didn't spool up the wire on the winch yet because uh the that clevis. battery in this thing is junk so uh trying to get it to charge probably have to put a new one in it but yeah look at this stuff man huge absolutely massive so we got the light bar on it i don't know if we talked about that no yet. what is that baja designs s8 we just happened to have one of those around and thought hey it would look perfect on this thing ideally we get to do some night bogging we'll have all the light now so that sucker's all wired up and good to go let's check out the back man i feel like we saw the front stuff we saw the link bars the upper and lower control arms the rear has a sort of similar effect but just still in the nation of beef dude it is it is just the beef king <laughs> i can't get over it man it's uh it's gonna be so much tougher and more dependable with all this new stuff so oh my lord it's so big <laughs> this is the so bar none biggest side by side i've ever seen 100 percent unreal it's unreal we've measured the ground clearance 27 inches it's on 36 inch system three tires we got all the high lifter stuff it's time to see how this thing will move we got to wash the radiator up first yeah, but we're gonna wash the radiator up she's clogged with mud and then we're gonna go pond dive and bog her deep see how she does so. i want to see it move dude it's the first time it's ever moved with all this portal stuff she works great brother Smooth. can't even get her in the frame milo watch out buddy <laughs> You can steer now. This is yeah, you got full steering as well. Joy. Wow. What an absolute freaking beast. My gosh. Look at this thing, dude. It looks like a freaking monster truck, bro. It is a monster truck. Yeah, it's basically a monster truck. You're not That's wrong. Unbelievable. It's so big. And it's all just right now, too, with all that stuff. Oh, sick. Well, Doug's gonna wash out the radiator and we're gonna take it through the pond. You coming with? Oh, definitely. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at you, dude. I am ready. So Very ready. ready. You gotta tell Corey it's time to get wet. Hey! It's time, brother. He's ready. This thing is freaking huge. You gotta go give this thing a little test, you know? Hey, you wore the right stuff, man. I didn't have any of that, so we got full wader life. Oh, man. Okay. If you stand in the bed, you'll be okay. I mean, I could do that. I mean, look at how tall it is. I don't think we're even gonna get wet. Big but facts. We gotta test this thing out because the intention in the next couple days is to take her real deep. So just give her a little quick test run here. Big brain, big water. Let's do it. Big facts. <laughs> Almost this, feels like that little clutch kit in this thing, dude. This thing feels so good now. Everything's super smooth, it steers super well. All right, boys, we made it to the pond of doom. So last time we were out here, it wasn't this grown but there is the uh tube of doom i guess we actually had some people that drive by on the highway that said they liked seeing that sorry i know it's been there for many years at some point we're gonna yank it right out of there maybe not today maybe once we get the winch all uh figured out but 
Yeah, I think it's just send it, man. time to drop in and see what happens. This thing, I can't say it enough, already feels so good. Like the driving quality is really, really good for this much lift and these giant tires. Like everything's super tight, it's super it's smooth, like it doesn't clunk. It's, it's really, really good. I'm very excited about this. Perfect. Now. So, all right, we'll get turned around here. Those brakes are already working really good. We're in, baby. We're in. <laughs> uh, maybe make a lap and then I'll come through. we were here we had the ag tires on the outlaw threes yeah I see that So weird. This should be interesting. Dude, right here is a little mucky. Past that, it looks fine. Yeah, these tires definitely don't dig like the boggers, but since we're going to the dunes and we're not gonna be, you know, needing the boggers, we'll save that for later. But uh, we're definitely way higher. Like, yeah. We got way less wet than the last time we were out here. Yeah, I can see that. It's got plenty of power with the extra reduction too. Like I was just tiptoeing, being very easy on it. it took nothing to spin the tires. You wanna try to make it back up here? quite done out here yet. I just came to see if you wanted to go for a ride. I do. How, about, how am I going to get in? You want me to get in the water? Yeah, waiters, bro. Dude, these things are straight from China, Listen, bro. Come back, up over the hood. We'll back up to the bank. Oh, copy. Or you can parkour over the roof. I'll doing? parkour, yeah. Alright. Alright, with the camera. I parkour. Come up closer if you want. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. The All step right. is pretty large. Oh, there you go. We're good. Oh man, I can't really bend with these on. <laughs> Hand me the camera All right. so we can at least get this on video. Good point. Oh, cool. <laughs> you don't really bend is the problem. Yeah, your mobility is very limited in these. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. a, a great view for the people. This is the Florida <laughs> edition, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Seuss? <laughs> uh, you can stand here probably. I want to try full parkour, dude. Okay. Parkour! Woo! <laughs> parkour! <laughs> parkour! Oh, nailed it. Look at that, that, dude. Let's freaking roll, Heck boys. Yeah. Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Just a nice cruise on the lake in the SS Mud Life with old Captain Dougie. Yeah, good point, man. <laughs> Captain Battle. Let's see how she does in reverse. Look at that, just filling in. Yeah. Feet get a little wet, that's about it. That's just water's warm. Oh my gosh, it's like, like bath, bath water, water dude. Oh, well, she's a champ in reverse. I think we might be doing a small water wheelie. It feels like something's happening in the rear. I think it's important sometimes to stir up the bottom of your local uh, lakes. They don't get a lot of flow, you know? It's uh, really doing a service Good for the people. Just, you know, just, you know, turn up some dirt, you know? You gotta turn up dirt once in a while. This thing is the best. This is very enjoyable to me. I don't know what it is, but just driving through deep water, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> a little 
really feels like we're just in a boat right now. Yeah, kind of. Out in this pond. Well, we found our way out. It's gonna be this way. <laughs> I think that's where we went before. Definitely more spinning right now than it was with the other tires. Yeah, we'll have to get the old Lumbaugh's back on this and get it back on the pond for sure. But... Doing all right. Yeah, it's doing fine. Looks like we've got some fresh debris. I think try to go through it. Worst case, we just back up. We'll just sneak up there. Just got to check engine light. Uh, yeah, we got a death machine here. What do you think about that thing? It's terrifying. It's very scary looking. That thing spins at a high RPM, I imagine, and basically just kills everything around it. I mean, I've been less intimidated by things pulling us out of a hole before, but... Eh, we'll see what happens. Well, sort of an interesting turn of events, but I feel like, you know, very side-by-side -side blog. These things, they happen. This is why we tested it, you know? Right, good point. Now we'll be able to figure out what's wrong with it and be all good. Yep. Make sure you throw her a newt. I don't think this thing cares if it's a newt or not. I guarantee <laughs> that machine does not give a single crap about what gear we're in. Like, just absolutely no problem he's picking us up. I think I gotta go this way a little bit, Frankie. There you go. Oh my He'll god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so sketch. Be running them brakes, dog, if something gets loose. Oh, we're good, man. I know we're good, but I'm nervous. <laughs> good straps. Unbelievable. Unreal, and we're oh, out. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yankum straps coming through, man. It's infinite power. Yeah, that Yankum shackle up there. Let's be honest right now. Thing's taking a beating. This is a great off-roading experience right now. Roll equipment maneuvering right there. Just yeah. setting her down. Great work overall. Yeah, saves the day. Well, Buffalo to the rescue, boys. You guys have seen that machine before, the Long Travel Pro XP4 seat, just dominating the terrain, also going to tow us out. Look at Doug, dude, looking uh, like a HCR champion. HCR just working through them bumps. There. HCR just getting it, dude. Okay, we got Leo driving her now. So, man, I gave up mud left driving after I rolled it at the mounds <laughs> right after we built it, but today I have to drive it, so. Mm -hmm. Hoping it would just start. It's the amount of power right now that you can handle. Don't worry. Zero. Zero <laughs> power. Oh god. Point I'm like giving the car gas. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, yank him! Yank! Oh no! Yanky! Yanky! Luster, yank him! It's a bad day. Mike Yankum Reed's gonna be really upset if he loses his rope. Oh shit! <laughs> Freaking snakes on a plane, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I don't waste too much time, you know. We're out here, probably not anybody wanting us to be out here, so. Anyway, <laughs> back to the shop. <laughs> well, boys, we're back. Unfortunately, we, I guess fortunately we found the issue. Unfortunately, it was very dumb. Spend hours and hours and hours going over every nut and bolt on this chassis, making sure it's good to go. Yep. The one thing that I didn't check was tight was the gas cap. <laughs> and unfortunately, when your gas cap is loose and you're underwater, it's just basically going to get full of water. So this is what Doug did. He came, Let's go check the fuel, and it went. You know, and, and I think yeah. when we left, it was on three bars. And now it has five bars, so that typically doesn't happen. <laughs> Trying to think of an uh, example. No, I don't have one. No. So, siphon all that crap out, put some fresh fuel in it. She'll be good to go. Other than that, successful test. So we'll take care of that. 
maybe we'll take it back out just to make sure she's running good and do a Smart. little climb or something Smart. and then uh she'll be ready to send this weekend so Oof, thank god tough break totally our fault but bright side of this is all the new equipment was spectacular so completely excited we'll get this taken care of Yep, that's uh, no line on that winch because we didn't do that because we were in a lot of hurry because this guy was coming to town. Tough hey break. Hey guys, you're here with Cletus McButterfield and <laughs> today we got uh, mud life out here. We're going to put her in the dunes and we're thinking it's going to rip. <laughs> Big facts. These iron dude, hire them. <laughs> uh, so, skipping ahead here a little bit. Some things, you know, didn't work out as planned. So last time you saw us, we had water in the fuel tank. It took us a long, long time to get all that cleaned out and actually running. It was like 10 o'clock at night. We got to fire back up. So, mud life. She's going to work good today. We Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for uh, being with us. You know, we can't tell you enough how much we appreciate you for everything you do. Subscribing to these videos, continuing to watch, buying parts on the parts store, donating on Patreon. You guys are absolutely killing it. Hope you enjoy Mud Life, being back and better than ever. And uh, we're going to set it today. So make sure you stick around. Be back in a couple of days. All right, great. Great work. Okay, see you. Just bombing the heck out of Mud Life out here, dude. This thing is doing excellent. So impressed with how this thing's been holding together. So impressed with these new high lifter parts, dude. Just look at this thing. Unbelievable, come on. Still moving, still moving. I'm still moving. It might go. Oh! No, nah, she's burning, dude. That's not right, but it's burning. Hell yeah, dude. 